Hey guys, here again with a couple of quick notes. Number one, Hoorah's hosting this week. Have fun with that. Number two, if you hear a loud noise in the background, it's Hoorah's fan. I tried my best to edit it out, but I didn't do the best of jobs because, well, it's incredibly loud and you're going to see. So, here we go with Drunkmas again, and then we're going to go into an episode hosted by Hoorah with special guests Chad and Axiomat. Later! <laughs> I'm the holly jolly drunkmas. It's the best time of the year. We don't know if there'll be snow, but fuck it, I'll have beer. Have a holly jolly drunkmas, and when you stumble down the street, you say hello to folks you know, and don't puke on their feet. Oh no. It's the po-po, they're driving down the street. They won't hear your plea, just say, don't tase me. Have a holly jolly drunkness, and in case you're out of beer. Oh by golly, have a holly jolly drunkness next year. Uh, welcome to welcome to the holiday short staff version of the JFI podcast. I'm your host, Hoora. Joined with me is our not as special anymore guest. That's you, Chad. Oh, okay. I was gonna say sorry because the bat, Matt's been on a bunch too. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> what are you talking about? His back like, fits both of us. I, I I like how he made us feel completely irrelevant in like one sentence. Just <laughs> oh no, it, no 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 no, that's cool. No, and then didn't explain to us which one he was talking about. He just left us both. Oh to... uh, well, Chad's been on more than you have. We're also joined by our holiday guest. Oh yeah, I'm on like every holiday, right? I'm Axial Matt. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> this is only my fourth time. How many times have you been on Matt? Uh, uh this is his third. Yeah. One difference. <laughs> well, you're well. <laughs> apparently, in between three and four is where special it's, is. It's so. a big difference, apparently. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, not as special as other guest guest. Okay. You're just making us both feel like crap. Thank a lot. Yeah, seriously. I I don't know. I, I all I'm hearing is he just wants to make us feel like shit around Christmas. He's like, "Merry Christmas. You suck. Have fun." No, no, no. You're both special. It's just Chad is one episode less special than you. Oh, wait. Okay. I, the, huh, I, you know, did you mean one more <laughs> special? Cuz I've been here one more. No, apparently the longer you're here, the less we want to hear anything about you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what is going on right That's, now? Uh, I was going to say, this is kind of... Oh, that makes sense. You, you've kind of demeaned both of us pretty quickly. Oh, yeah. Well, that's what I do. Nobody else is here, which yeah, we well. should probably explain. Uh, Kisty is on vacation. Jason is doing Jason stuff. Nightmari is currently stuck in traffic, so he might join us later, but I kind of hope not, because then this is the <laughs> podcast we can all bitch about Nightmari. So, we're the B team. We're the C team. You really are making, you're f- making us feel awesome. We're only here because yeah, everyone know, else right? can't make it. Well, you guys were gonna be here anyway, so way to show up, guys. You are better than yeah. Nightmare. We, we are the we're not even regulars on it, but we, we are more reliable than the regular people. Exactly. We got it in sleep yeah. through. So, see so now, now we're special, Chad. There you go. Now see, we well, you were got you guys are always special in my hearts and the hearts of our listeners. Now I love you, listeners. Gay. A little gay, yeah. <laughs> but I love you nonetheless. Marry me. Yeah, listeners are pretty me, great. Listeners. Whoa, too far. <laughs> Never too far. We, well, you can only ask the like the people that are on it to marry you. Deeper. All right. That's what she said. That's what I said. Well, uh, I, I have kind of a topic, I guess. Oh, go for it then. Okay. How was your lunch with Mark? Your um. Lunch? Oh yeah, that's right. It was fucking great, dude. We had some kick-ass burgers from our, this place called Grill Marks. That's we had some kick-ass burgers from like Holly's front porch when I went to my awkward lunch with Mark. <sighs> Not, oh, yours was Wait, awkward. Would, yeah. Well, no, it wasn't awkward, but that's just what we called would, it. Would you say uh, it was yeah, yeah. Mark word? Uh, 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 oh, that's punny. That'd be funny if the word was awkward, but it's not. <laughs> he made it work. I'll give it to him. All right. <laughs> Yay, a pun. Um, yeah. So what did you do, Matt? Because we listened to Donut the Musical while looking for tacky Christmas sweaters. Yeah, well, I had to leave before he uh, had me go help him look for tacky Christmas sweaters. Oh, okay. He, I think he didn't settle with getting long jobs, but that's not really part of the story. <laughs> we w- walked aimlessly around Five Points in columbia 
trying to find where I parked because I forgot where I parked, which was not fun to do because I don't know the town at all. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah. Make a point. Saw some things. Know where you are. Saw some things. The thing is, he came to my town, so I should know the town. I still forgot where he yeah, parked. Well, I was, I was going to say, you, you guys live in like the same area. But I had to drive an hour and a half to go. Oh, yeah. Way. We're like 20 minutes or 40 minutes. I don't know. Within an hour. It's Did good. you have an hour and a half to uh, see him? Yeah, well, I mean, you know, fucking shit. Met him on Rooster Teeth. Good, you know, kind of community the, the, meetup. This is uh, Death Row, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Death Row. Of the uh, Achievement Locked podcast, you're welcome, guys, for the plug. Oh, yeah. Please listen to us as well. <laughs> <Jerry> Live <laughs> podcast. Well, I mean, technically they're already Christmas. listening to you. Well, Merry, Merry Christmas. Should we say Merry, Merry Christmas? Christmas? I said it was the holiday edition. I gotta be like, oh, okay. uh, what's the word? Considerate of others? No, you don't. Well, I mean, I don't, I don't ever understand that. Not, not to be offensive to anybody, but I don't understand why anybody would be offended if you say Merry Christmas because. Right. In my mind, that's kind of like, I'm wishing you a Merry Christmas because I celebrate Christmas, so I want you to have a great holiday season. You know? Right. See, that's what people think. It's like, oh, you should have a holiday season. Like, I usually say Merry Christmas, but I figure I'd try and be professional and go with Happy Holidays. Yeah. So I'll fucking say it. Merry Christmas. Happy Kwanzaa. Hanukkah's over, I think, so fuck you, maybe. I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> people... <laughs> yeah, stick with that one. Hanukkah's over. Fuck you. People maybe, don't correct maybe. you if you maybe. say Happy yeah. Hanukkah. They don't be like, oh, sure, that's, ha- that's not fair to the Christians. But if it's someone saying Merry right. Christmas, they say that. That's a little unfair, I think. Um, I'm, j- I'm just going to say this. If Hanukkah is not over, don't. And no don't. more Christians celebrate not, Christmas. Not, not fuck Christian, you. Would I celebrate Christmas? For Santa. Right. For Dude, Santa, Santa's exactly. the bomb. Well, I mean, that's the thing. It's really become more of a, less of a religious holiday and more of just a, you know, everybody holiday. Because, you know, you don't fucking want to not get presents while everybody else is right. getting presents, right? Oh, what religion is Kwanzaa, anyway? Because I know that's not like well, a let me, Muslim Let me holiday. consult my Kwanzaa book. What the <laughs> fuck is Kwanzaa? Uh, I'm not celebrating. Jesus. I hope that's a real birthday. book. We should have it's not even on. De- it's not even in December. <laughs> what, no, Kwanzaa? No, yeah. it's his birthday. No. Oh. <laughs> it's not even Jesus December 25th, birthday. but yeah, Didn't they find now. out it was, like, in summer or yeah. some shit? They moved it because... <laughs> some stupid reason i can't remember interesting because pagan weren't they didn't they do that in assassin's creed like i think brotherhood they talked about making a new holiday and it was basically supposed to be christmas because it was in december i don't know i didn't play it though I, I might be completely wrong i just remember one sequence where i was trying to kill some guy and then i stopped staring at the guy i was trying to kill and realized everybody was wearing leaves and i was like what the fuck where wait, am wait I? was it just a leaf <laughs> sounds hot it was, it was just leaves i was like just, wait, just one leaf on. over the crotch nice yeah, yeah, pretty, pretty much. Oh, yeah. I like uh, it was, it was kind of one of those moments where I realized how much uh, I let video games distract me from what's going on around me. Because <laughs> I was, like, fucking in the middle of everything, and I realized, hey, wait, everybody's naked. Sounds huh. really hot, dude. How'd you even turn it off? How are you here right now? Uh, well, I mean, you know, I could go back and play Brotherhood all the fuck I want, I guess. That's what I should My do. My TV would be paused forever. <laughs> <laughs> I will admit, after I found that out, I was just kind of sitting in the hay bale a little while longer. I'm like... This is probably a mission specific. What are those thing? grunting noises coming out of that hay? Uh, <laughs> you see Ezio fucking come out. I did nothing in there. For Don't some look. reason, his white shirt is whiter. Don't know how it works. Oh, okay. oh no. Anyway, so, yeah. um, Kwanzaa is apparently celebrated in the United States and more recently Canada, but also yeah. celebrated in Western Africa diaspora. Diaspora. So basically, it's an African holiday created in america africa's not a religion well i know that's what i'm saying africa's it's not, not a religion apparently kwanzaa is not africa's a religious not. holiday it's an american holiday made for africa and more recently canada canada the more sorry. you know yeah there you go yeah i guess this is I, where we learn all right i don't know I, it's supposed to be for like unity um it's got seven core principles ubuntu okay well i only remember unity <laughs> so and the episode of the boondocks where the guy goes harambe over and over that's that's about all i remember that I, I really I feel bad that all like my knowledge of that holiday comes from like Futurama and the Boondocks. Um, uh, my knowledge of that holiday came from Arthur that that show, and all I remembered was the brown bear celebrated Kwanzaa. I, I remember that uh, they had a Rugrats one too. They had a Kwanzaa they Rugrats. Kwanzaa Rugrats. Yeah, yeah. It was they went over to, like Susie's oh, house. Oh yeah, or something. yeah. All yeah. I remember was yeah. the. Oh, that's right. Yeah, they wanted to light the candles or something. Shout that's out to right. Susie Carmichael. Way yeah. better than uh, Angelica. Fuck Angelica. Well, Angelica was a bitch. She was a bitch. 
Uh, I've been rewatching uh, Invader Zim. Speaking of like old cartoons. No, we're not going to do Invader Zim again. I remember this last lies! time. I'm sorry. The filthy of him lies. Well, I, I just want to point. Did, did I talk about what the Santa suit was made of? I think. In that? Um, I don't think so, because that was the okay. Thanksgiving special, not the Christmas well, special. Yeah, since since this is Christmas, <laughs> uh, <laughs> if you rewatch the Christmas episode of Invader Zim, he goes through how he made the Santa suit when he's telling Dib how he does everything because he's stupid. And he talks about how he made the Santa suit out of abortion fluid. <laughs> <laughs> what? I, I, he was like, it was simple to craft the, oh, dude. <laughs> the suit. I just poured abortion fluid and then put electricity to it to craft a Santa. Are you sure you don't mean a portion of fluid? <laughs> no, no. Abortion fluid. All right. Yeah, we re- re- rewatched it like four wow. times because we couldn't believe it. I did not catch that. That was the last episode, so I guess they were like, what are they going to do now? I think that's... I think that's how they uh, decided to stop Invader Zim. Did you find the one yeah. frame of uh, Bloody Gurface? Yeah, I found that one. Oh, man. That's like in the title of No, it's it's uh, only on the title, I think, of the first episode. But then each episode for yeah, after Invader that. Zim, there's one frame somewhere in the show of a, of like a very faded Bloody Gurface. So that's there's awesome. a whole website d- dedicated I about it. I love that show. Fantastic show. I love this show. I can't do Gur voice. Yeah. I can do somewhat Zim voice. You can do an Ed voice pretty damn well. Yes, I can. I like lady. the um. <laughs> God damn, dude. Um. This is our uh, impression portion. Of the yeah, podcast. I, I'm just gonna say shout. Uh, fuck. All right. Wait, have you ever done the Sarge impression on the podcast before? I don't, I don't no, know. Christmas. I don't, I don't know. Like I like. I'm just, I'm not really fucking around. Sitting in a podcast by myself with Ed and Sarge is probably the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> you, you don't have a very eventful life. No, do I don't. <laughs> Banana is good for your eyes. Can but, you uh, dial the phone? No, um, I'm going to say uh, shout out to Chad's YouTube channel. Everyone should go check that out if they don't. It's, what is it? Sabakuno? Sab, how do you Sabakuno say that? Sabakuno Chad. Just as my name. There you go. Um, That'll be in the link up probably. He does a bunch of good stuff, like insignificant arguments. Uh, you know, usually I don't want to like plug my channel or anything like that, but I just gotta say, I have something coming out in the next week or two that both of you will be very interested in, and a lot of people we know are gonna be very interested in. Oh, good. That sounds interesting. So you know how I very uh, interesting. have been doing parody <laughs> chat, which is like uh, pairing a bunch of different YouTube channels. Right. There's something that every one of us sort of loves that I might be, you know, parodying soon. Oh. Begins with, I wonder what it could with, be. Um, you know, Rooster Teeth ends with podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so stay tuned. Mm. It's it was a lot of fun. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. I want to see how you would parody that. I'm actually kind of confused as to how you would do I'm it. I'm doing the video podcast. So. Oh. Okay. So, have you guys uh, seen The Hobbit? No. No. Really? I've seen A Simple Walk into Mordor. Yeah, fantastic. That, okay, yeah, I would like to Oh my god, that. that's that probably my really favorite cool. short series Rooster Teeth has ever done. So, known. the last two episodes, I had a hand yes. over my screen basically the entire video to not see all the blisters. Oh, yeah. Um, I, made, I made the mistake of, like, eating when I watched that. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing that, too. Uh, <laughs> it, was, it was definitely uh, one of those, like, well, do I want to finish eating? Or it's like, I mean, right I can't now, not or... stop eating now. I already started. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, if I said it seriously, be, like shout out to them for being able to do that. Oh, yeah. I, I think I probably would start the first day and be like, "Yeah, well, I, this is fine, I can't believe but... they fucking made it." I thought it was gonna be a joke the whole time, but they were dead fucking serious about it. Yeah. I can't wait to see when someone actually I... finds the ring buried. They said they buried something with it. I, I can't wait to see. What oh yeah. Is. Oh no. Oh yeah, I'm sure someone is. Like, it's probably a griff ball. But... Yeah. <laughs> if no one's found it in a little bit, uh, who I want to go to New Zealand with me? Yeah, let's fucking do it. I'll just raise like three thousand yeah. dollars for or uh, something. Yeah. Make our own trip. I'll sell my laptop. We'll there go we go. From the, the Shire to uh, what? What's what's the place to go to in the Hobbit? I'm sorry, I'm just not remembering. Like Mount Doom or something. Mordor. Oh wait, no. Where are they going there? It, I don't it's even... uh, like the Dragon's Cave. I, I just can't remember the name of that. Yeah. Yeah, that. Yeah, because they go to fight the dragon or whatever. And... Yeah. Or, so I, much I don't knowledge. know. I haven't read the Hobbit for years. No, you know, you know what we should do. We should go looking for the ring that they buried, and then we can make a web series about looking for the ring that they buried. Make sure to have lots of blister shots. Yeah, that's that's what we'll do. We'll, we'll like step it up a notch, though. We'll have a we'll have 
We'll have a blister cam. Just like oh. wrap it around your ankle and just be like. That's stepping up. God. You can see God the blisters damn. form. That hurt so bad. This is a time lapse shot of blisters forming Dude. and then popping. God. I don't even want to think about how painful that must have been. Ugh. I haven't had a blister for like years. Knock on wood. Well, who is figuring out his uh, technical okay. stuff? Uh, Matt. Yeah. We have an interesting yes. uh, Twitter thing going on here. We do. Do we? Every time you uh, you post a status about playing some kind of game, whatever, you just always seem to be misspelling uh-huh. Minecraft. Yeah. Am I? Like, oh, I'm going to hop on Slay Halo 4. And I'm like, no, no, be. you misspelled Minecraft there, man. Oh, I am. I am. That's that's a that's a shot at me. Good I, job. Know, <laughs> I mean, Minecraft is, is it's pretty hard to spell, I, play, I guess, but uh, you, know, you miss it by a lot sometimes. I, I play other stuff. I play other stuff. I don't. I don't just uh, you know only play Minecraft. I, I I cleanse I cleanse my palate. That's interesting. I, I I will be honest. I've played that game so much now that like whenever I start to play it, I'm just like ah, Minecraft. <laughs> wow. I don't know. Matt, when's the last time you played survival mode? You know, we had a conversation about this yesterday with my group of friends. Oh, uh, your group of friends, and I am just now finding out that you had this conversation. Yeah. I have an have a, have a interesting Oh, that hurts. Shit. He's returning the favor it has from the been... of the podcast. Ah, uh, hang up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, when you fucking just said we weren't special, go to but hell. But Matt was the uh, more special one. Oh, you did say I was more... Okay, you can be in the semi-circle yes, of friends. Yes, semi-circle. He's got his own new circle of friends now with his new podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, what new podcast? The new one you appeared on? <laughs> oh, I actually never appeared on one yet because I posted out of one because I didn't feel like it. And the other one, I figured I'd fix my echo issue first before I get on <laughs> that because I care about it. <laughs> so that means <laughs> this podcast isn't good enough for you to fix your audio issues, but that one is. Yeah, but... Yeah. Well, I... See, the thing is... That Fucking rude, They actually Ron. recently had a podcast that was uh, two hours long and it had seven people. <laughs> So I figure if it's going to be 14 hours of audio for one person to edit, it should be good audio, if, at least. Why would you have seven people on a podcast? That's that's fair enough. Um, They get excited sometimes. They realize there's a mistake after it was done. Uh, I guess I should just say it's the anything. RTAD podcast. It's uh, Rooster Teeth After Dark or Red Team After Dark, whatever the fuck they want to call it. It's uh, It's got some good people. Yeah. Um, I <laughs> No, it's really weird because... One of them said, it's like, oh, yeah, it's uh, Rooster Teeth After Dark. It was originally, but, like, they wanted to change it because they didn't want to get into any issues with uh, Rooster Teeth. And yeah. then it's like, oh, wait, all of our favorite characters from Red vs. Blue are on the Red Team, so it's Red Team After Dark. Well, it's understandable. Yeah, it's understandable. Right? Like, I mean, you know, better off Red than Dead, obviously. Right. I mean, better off the yeah. Red Team than, like, Blue Team or something. Donut forever. Those dirty people. <laughs> <laughs> Go Duck! <laughs> I think, like, the funnest time I've had, like, ever while driving on a road trip was, uh, we were heading to go actually have lunch with Mark and, um, Donut the Musical that came on my, uh, my CD player. Just everybody in the car singing that was hilarious. Yeah. Dude, Donut the Musical is so fucking great. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they, they did a really good job on, uh, the soundtrack yeah. for Season Have 10. you listened to, uh, the soundtrack for Season 10 yet? I've not. Oh, I, my I, um... God. Do it. Like, leave, like yeah. you are okay. Leave right now. Me and Chad can be entertaining while you listen to it. <laughs> you can. Well, no, one of uh, us I'll can, and more. his name is not Hoorah. I could just, I could just do more editing. Yeah, whatever, version. Hoorah. There you go. Yeah. Oh, so, do you guys want to hear about my, my ordeal the other and, week? And yell at you about it? Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, you can yell at me to go to the hospital. I, I didn't. You still haven't gone? You motherfucker. <laughs> um, no, so yeah, the other week I was going out to get food before the Griff Ball tournament for uh the Chima, it was the Chima Hunter Griffball tournament and um on my way somebody ran a red light and he skidded and he basically tried to miss me he sideswiped my car then kind of careened into oncoming traffic and slammed head on and just I I'm assuming those people are dead I don't know <laughs> but uh so yeah that was fun but I got back from my Griffball tournament and uh my arm hurt for like two Glad days. My priorities are straight. Hospital griff ball yeah. tournament. Hospital <laughs> griff ball tournament. I, I, I felt kind of bad because I told the first thing I told the paramedic, he like walked up. He's like, well, it looks like your arm could be broken. And I was like, uh, okay, is that it? I got a griff ball tournament to go back to. <laughs> and he kind of just looked at me and he's like, 
Yeah, that's I I guess I don't know. <laughs> You you need I I asked if I could drive and he was like yeah you can drive yourself to the hospital but I I do recommend you go and I was like well it's probably okay it it just it was just like sprained I'm just massively really shaking bad. my head right now yeah. but it's good now right um, yeah it's good now I'm but you lost in the first I, I round of the Griffball tournament so and you also lost in the first round so. yeah well I mean glad well, you totally hey, I mean, put yourself that was in, not my, hey, it was not my fault I played really well with my gimp arm well Matt in your defense. At least you showed up to yours. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fucking shit. Who I heard? Oh my, that, dude, my internet was not cool that day. It was gone for hours, and then it's like I look at the clock. I'm like, fuck, it's six. Griffball starting. And I was like, oh shit, who are we? Yeah, I'm like, oh god, dude. <laughs> my internet just I came back. Thankfully, I, there were backups. And yeah, shout out I, to I Griffball's deep for making it to the yeah. quarterfinals. Shout out to Griffball's to the wall. We made it through the first round by default twice. Did you the really? first team that was supposed to face us didn't show up. Well, actually, they forfeited like right as the, the, they started. Um, and then the second team that Caleb replaced them with didn't show up at all. So we got through the wow. second round <laughs> by making both teams quit before they wanted to face us. I see. And done. then we lost to, to Caleb's yeah, team. Yeah, well. So. Oh, that's embarrassing. We, we, Fraggers on that team. Yeah, but Caleb's yeah. professional at grip ball, so. Yeah, but still, Fraggers I, on that I team. I didn't feel that bad about losing the first match just because I think those guys got to the semifinals. So I was like, well, okay. They, they were pretty good. Yeah, I think that. you faced a professional griff ball team. But, yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm okay, saying. Okay, I can't I look at it on Audacity team. anymore because I just, like, every time I look at it, it's different. And I know Kisty's going to be so fucking pissed. Merry Christmas, Kisty. That's future use problem. Don't worry. Love you, Kisty. <laughs> He's on vacation. Please right don't. I'm sure she'll appreciate that later. Yeah, well, she's on vacation. It's cool. We, we can. This can just be unedited. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Don't edit this. <laughs> you, oh my god. <laughs> you like stress about other people's podcasts. Like, I want my audio to be really good. Well, that's because I'm a guest. Not. I don't want to be a shitty guest like one of you two. It's kind of funny that the person who is part of the podcast has the shittiest quality. Yeah, I don't know where it came from either. Maybe I should just go back to yeah, my I'm old headphones. A, I'm not a shitty guest. Go to hell. I said one of you. I never said who. Whoa. I'll let, well, now you pretty much just... I will let that work. No, I will no. let you guys work that out amongst yourselves. And it's mine! <laughs> <laughs> In your face, dirty. In All right, so what the fuck do we have to talk about? We can talk about Gangnam Style hitting one billion views. I don't know. Oh yeah, did it? It did. did it, it finally hit it? Views. It finally it hit like it. Yesterday morning, the, the December twenty first in the morning. So, yeah, wasn't wasn't there like? Wow, well, that's kind of creepy. But uh, wasn't there like a controversy about a bunch of their views only being like a second long? I have, I have like, no idea. I just know it, as soon as it hit one billion views, it jumped I, I, up like another ten million because everyone went back to see the number and to I see they know. add like a little sprite next to the yeah. number of uh, Psy like cartoon dancing game style. To the that's pretty counter. cool. You know, that's that's kind of like a clever idea to get people to go watch your videos. Like, yeah, I'm about to hit this many views. You want to go I'm look? I'm about to hit this many so, <laughs> so go watch uh, yeah. it. Everyone, go ahead and watch it again. Yeah, well, it, it makes you... Yeah, it makes people feel more like they're a part of it happening when in reality they didn't really do anything other than watch right. it. But, I know, I contributed a lot. You know, it's, it's good, though. It brings more community to everything, you know? I think I'm just I thankful guess. that... Justin Bieber's baby wasn't the first video to hit a, mil- a billion views. Yeah, oh yeah, that, I was gonna say it's no that, longer that number one on YouTube, travesty, and right? society is okay again. Okay, have you seen the movie Contagion? I saw it a while ago. Okay, I, no, last I year. Seen Contagion. Okay, like I don't like bananas. That's my thing. I don't like banana anything. And I watched. Con- yeah, I don't, you don't like, like banana, banana pudding. pudding. You, All right, you can sorry. Now. Oh yeah, you're from the south, aren't you? You have to like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's exactly like we no, live I'm in not, South dude, Carolina. I live here, but I'm not fucking from here, so I can hate whatever I like. Doesn't stop me. Fair enough. But I, um, I watched Contagion, and that movie just reaffirmed. Like a lot of people are like germaphobes. I'm kind of like I'm kind of a germaphobe, but that movie did nothing but reaffirm my hatred for bananas. <laughs> <laughs> what was like? They're like a infection. Um, through bananas? what ha- like it was an infection, whatever movie. And what happened was, oh, okay. like, it started with, like, yeah. some lady who had, like, some pork chop or whatever from, uh-huh. in, like, this Japanese restaurant, and the chef didn't, like, wash his hands before giving it to her. So she got sick and threw up and died. 
<laughs> oh, I'm sick. <laughs> but I'm th- no, that's kind of how it happened. All right. Do you know the name? But of the thing was, the pork chop was well, like, the pork chop was bad because the pig was sick. Yeah. Because a bat dropped a gross banana on the pig, and the pig ate it. <laughs> <laughs> so because of that a just movie, sounds fucking stupid. A bat dropped a gross banana. No, I've hated bananas all my life, except for like when I was a baby. But babies don't know what they hate yet. But watching a bat drop a banana to kill a pig, that makes you hate bananas more. It could have been anything. What does a banana have to kind do with of like, it? No, yeah, I'm just really. like, fuck you, bananas. This is why I hate you, because you have... To be honest, like, I'm sure the banana wasn't necessarily below a normal standard quality of what they yeah, gave it to a, a pig anyway. Yeah, it was a wild banana. It was whatever. Like, I, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure, like, not that pigs aren't great animals, but I'm pretty sure they don't, like, go wash and clean all the bananas to, like, the same standards they would for a person and be like, here, pig, eat this wonderful banana. No, I don't I'm think pigs sure eat bad bananas either. I don't think yeah. pigs eat bananas either, but, like... I don't fucking know what they know. put in What I don't get is how I hate bananas so much. And, like, Donkey Kong Country is, like, one of my favorite games ever. And because... Yeah. I have that same thing. I, 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 hate, I, like, hate, I hate bananas, even though I, like I played the shit out of that bananas. game. But because I played the shit out of that game, I have this fear of bees. <laughs> <laughs> I have a fear of bees. I, I, I don't, like, that's... I don't get why I don't like bananas, but I hate bees. Like, that game just negatively affected me. Overall, I, I'm allergic to bees, and the closest encounter I've had, I was working uh, at my family business, and we basically it's uh, for heating and air stuff. And I had to go under a house to put in the duct work and all that stuff, and there was a beehive in the crawl space because it was a new oh, construction man. type thing. So you know, if you have never been on the site of a new house being built, that is the filthiest shit. Right. Ever, like. <laughs> The end result and you know of your perfect house and what it originally looks like is completely different. It's fucking horrible early on, but there's fucking beehive underneath there, and my uncle is allergic to, and he's who I was with. He's like, so Matt, uh, are you allergic <laughs> to bees? <laughs> I don't know. I I mean, everybody else in the family is right, and he's like, yeah, yeah. So one of us has to not be right. I don't know. <laughs> I would kind of point to us all being allergic, and he's like, "Well, here's the bee spray. I'm gonna wait in the truck. Uh, you spray the hive, and if you start feeling woozy How afterwards, we'll take point? you to the hospital." <laughs> I was yeah, like, so "He's a real man's man, huh? Sending a 16 year old in there instead of him." Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, he knew he w- he knew well, he was, he was coming to terms with. <laughs> so he'd rather risk his your life just faults. In case you're, you're allergic. <laughs> Well, what we forgot was that we weren't the only ones. Oh like man! That day. <laughs> you could have gotten so one like, of them. Yeah, we could have got. Well, that, yeah, you're right. We could have got one of them. But what we did, we like, I sprayed it with like the poison shit, and I hit it with a board, and then I ran. I got stung a few times, which is why I found mm-hmm. out I'm allergic to bees. Hey but, man, um, hey man, come over here. I think we I got, see a like, bear in the woods. Can you go check yeah. it out for me? I, I have more well, see, stories a, about that that are a lot more. A, a bear's easy if it, like but, if uh, there is a bear there, you just play dead. That's pretty much. Oh, I remember one uh, one time we were out on a job and there was a dog that was just like, "Hey, how you doing? I'm gonna hang Aww. out with you all day." Did you keep it? Yeah, I wanted to. I tried to get him to keep him, and he was like, "No," but I'm like, "But he's not. <laughs> oh, come on, that's so sad. <laughs> he clearly wants to go with us. It's like that probably belongs to somebody. I don't care. <laughs> he belongs to me now, but, bitch." Uh, you know, when I hit the beehive, like, all the bees just came out and started attacking oh, everybody. Oh, wow. <laughs> so everyone died. Yeah. Yeah, everyone Good died story. at the end. Except for me, because I... Merry Christmas, wow. everyone. Everyone, everyone died. Him not going to the hospital, and a story about him going to the hospital. <laughs> yep, there's a story about me not going to the hospital. Great to know that everyone on this yeah. podcast is afraid of bees. My arm is completely fine, by the way. Yeah, what's up with that? This is good. I'm liking this. Bees. Matt doesn't like bananas, and he's afraid of bees. This is good. We can bond over this. Hey, I'm not necessarily afraid of bees. I just am allergic. Oh, to see, bees, I am so. so terrified of bees. I've not even like been close enough to one to find out if I'm allergic. I might be allergic and not even know it. I've been stung three times, but I'm. I just well, hey, I mean, hey, why don't you just go hit a beehive with a, a board and then you'll find so out. Right, I could, yeah, or I, or I, 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 I could just punch through it. Yeah. <laughs> I might just punch through the beehive. 
take a few of them out with me. Yeah, go go for it. That, that's that's the manlier way to do it, right? Just, <laughs> Fuck you, bees! It's like punching in the beehive face. Anytime I see videos on YouTube of yeah. people like throwing rocks at beehives, I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? God, what the fuck are you doing? I don't even know. I If I wasn't 16 and getting paid <laughs> money, I wouldn't have done it. What do I wouldn't have done it anyway. I would have I would have said no. <laughs> well, I kind of thought about it. I was like, I don't, I hated doing it cuz it was it's a hot day down here yeah. in the south and all that. Brag about it. That's it's hard work <laughs> and all that shit. So, so I was kind of like, "Hey, if you are allergic, you can get stung, go to the hospital, and possibly get off work. Oh, good early. point. Good point. <laughs> yeah, because it was kind of early in the day when I did this. So I was like, you know, why not? Why not risk it? And then, like, worst case scenario, I got stung. I complained, and my grandma made me a cake. And I'm like, either so way, like I a get a really, out, really so. thin line between <laughs> going to the hospital and not going to the hospital for you. Broken arm? <clears throat> nah, no, not yet. But just being stung by B, yeah. Well... I mean, I had to. I had to breathe, Chad. So, no, literally, the only you way you're gonna I, go to the hospital is you have to. I don't. I don't need my arm. Dead. I don't need my arm to breathe. Yeah, I, I have to be about to die. That's that's pretty much the policy in my family. I had a fever of a hundred and five before, and that was when my mom was like, "I guess he can go to the hospital." I guess if he has to. What? Yeah. I. That was one of the times that I've been dead on the table and gotten revived. <laughs> Merry Christmas. So yeah, I know when to go to the hospital, Chad. <laughs> my God, I haven't been to the hospital for myself since I, I was like ten years old, I think. Yeah, I haven't been to a hospital in a while. Knock on wood. Yeah, I. Oh wait, I take that back because <clears throat> when I moved to uh, Michigan, I had to go like get some shots and shit for shots, school. shots, 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 shots. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. That. I love getting shot, Wait, shot, 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 shot. Well, that, no, that, uh... that doesn't count because I wasn't actually sick and didn't need to go. Like for medical reasons, as for legal reasons, I had to go. That doesn't count. Yeah, but I, I would. I'd say that doesn't count. See, I didn't. I, I didn't yeah. need to go to a hospital for that. You can just go to the doctor's office to get shots. Why would you go to a hospital? <laughs> well, that's what I meant. Do- well, well, I went to the doctor's office. The doctor's you know. office isn't the same as the hospital. Well, maybe he's connected to the. Oh, I'm the sorry, hospital. Chad. I mean, God. Have you ever seen Scrubs, Chad? Maybe he just wants to, you know, build up a rapport with JD really? or something. Yeah. He just wanted to be part of their guy love. Their guy love. Guy love. That's all it is. Guy, guy love. love. He's mine, I'm his. There's nothing gay about it. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to say Later, later we'll no, see. No, that's cool. It's not, like we have, it's not like we have anything else going on. <clears throat> all right, we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll hit the perfect pitch. Oh, yeah. You know. pitch, and then pitch we'll perfect. do the eagle. Yeah. Oh god, I've been rewatching that lately too. That's an so. amazing show. <clears throat> it really <laughs> is. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I know. Really? <laughs> <laughs> um, Shout out yeah. to Doctor Cox, best name in the TV. But yeah, TV. that was a uh, Doctor <laughs> fucking Doctor Cox kicks ass. <laughs> uh, so how's uh, that weather going for you? Wow, you really, you really don't have <laughs> I really have to talk fucking about nothing. You. I don't. You're you're like let, let's resort. See, here's to the, the weather. thing. Usually, I show up. It's like, all right, I want to talk about this, this, and this, and then that goes, and then that goes out the window because Castilla has other ideas that she wants to talk about, and then I get shuffled to the back, or I get to talk about what I want, and then I completely fuck it up, and then it gets really bad, and then we have a Thanksgiving episode. I got something we could talk about <laughs> shortly. I guess. Me and Ben, Final Cutman, have Go started a series up on the Achievement Hunter Community Channel. Oh, that's right. I've seen that. I've not watched any, CH- but I've, oh, yeah, I've heard CH or... I've heard good things about it. Uh, we had our first episode uh, last week where we predicted Patriots versus Niners, and it was very, very eerily exactly right, except for the score. Wait, I thought it was the like, Texans. Really creepy. I thought they played the Texans. I uh, know. That was two weeks ago. Well... I don't know. I uh, I made a kind of um, a things to do in for Assassin's Creed that's kind of Christmas oriented. That I don't think will get approved. A <laughs> home. Um, I can't think of anything Christmassy that one that get approved. Well, get approved. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll just I'll just suffice to say it. Uses I don't know rope what a rope dart a is, but it sounds sexy. It is pretty sexy. Uh, I'll give you that. Yeah. It involves trees and rope darts, and that's about all I've 
What is the the warning label on it for why it wouldn't get approved? Is it sexually explicit? Is it swearing? What is it? Oh, horribly oh. morbid. Oh, oh, you're murdering Blood trees, and aren't you? Wow. Yeah. Why, why I'm, would you I'm murdering do that? trees. That's you it. bastard. I, I what did they do to you besides treat? provide paper? I got a paper cut not too long ago. All right, ago, it, so, it is yeah. revenge. That's fair. I'm still kind of raging with him. That's like second degree murder. That's okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> cut me. I cut you. <laughs> they could. Uh, the tree. The tree could just kill me, but instead it gave me a fucking paper cut. It's a they bitch. do with that for four days. God damn it! You remember that show uh, where they they did like truth or lies or something like that? It was they were literally oh, interviewing yeah. about like their they, the biggest lies they told like oh, that's their right. family members and stuff. That like was. That. <sighs> But yeah. it was like the lie detector. Wasn't it, wasn't it like one. if you yeah if you could get through it without lying, they just gave you like a bunch of money. It was literally like ruining people's lives. It was a horrible show, but it was entertaining as fuck. Yeah, I, I think it'd be a great show to be to watch. They had to cancel Definitely. it because there was just such a massive doing. outcry about people ruining their lives. Uh, I don't care. I I would go on it, but that's just because I'm kind of honest about most stuff, so I wouldn't, you know. <laughs> well, the questions are like, you know, have you ever cheated on your wife? And then like you put up you were put up to a lie detector test, and then. Have you ever nope. had sexual thoughts? Well, you know, you know what you do with that, that show? Like, oh. Is you get you get like one of those fucking pins in the bottom of your shoe, like Ocean's Ele- or Ocean's Thirteen or something. And every time they ask you a question, <laughs> every question you gotta press down on it. <laughs> was that a, was that Ocean's Just Eleven or Ocean's everything? Thirteen? All right, those are that's a fucking great series of movies. That. I love those. I love it. Oh, there's the fan again. Oh, hey, fan. I. He's our biggest fan. Good job. I watched the, uh, Oceans. Uh-huh. <laughs> I watched the Oceans movies at a drive-in, oh, so okay. I don't know. You know, I can watch them again and again and again. I still don't know what happens in them. Like, I know what happens, but I always forget by the next time I watch it. Yeah, well, I was a little bit distracted. Oh, time. yeah. you're pro- Wait, drive-in? You're probably making out with some girl. <laughs> some guy? Yeah, that's what I was <laughs> Yeah. <You're- laughs> No, it's not. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, you, you were right. So, the first time. Uh, Matt, we're gonna hook you up to a lie detector. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna All check right, your go shoes for, for pins and now. Come on, bring it on. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, I got a question. Yeah, for both <laughs> you. check my shoes first. I was reminded right. about this, and I actually tweeted this, and I asked like, yes. everybody at my work, and no one ever did this. As a kid, did you ever put tacks on the bottom of your shoes? No, Chad. We talked about this because I talked about tack dancing. Yeah, we had a, we had and a then quick conversation. Did the Twitter. slide on the hard floor? Yeah, we had a conversation. Did you? Oh, yeah, uh, no. I never did that because I had a friend who did it, and then he forgot he had tax in his Ooh, shoes, and he jumped off his roof, and, uh, At least someone else did it. At least someone else yeah. in the world did Your it. Your friend's jumping off his roof? He's a little fucked up anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Still. Well, I mean, it was only, like, a four At least I want to meet your friend, because I've got to talk to someone who else did it, because I'm, like, I'm just baffled that no one else did it. I thought it was just, like, something common that kids do. Apparently I'm fucked up. Yeah, I, th- I kind of thought people did it, too. I just never thought about it. He did. I... I almost did it to aggravate the fuck out of people, but I just didn't oh, want to fucking well, you, know, you gotta get those round foot, thumbtacks you know? where you, or yeah, whatever. Yeah, small thumbtacks. Wouldn't actually hit your foot. That are like really, that are like really shallow yeah. or whatever. The circular ones. Yeah, that's the exactly the ones I would use, yeah. and then I would use it to slide across the floors at school. Yeah. Yeah. I I just did it at home. I didn't do it at school. I could have done it at school, I guess, but I was never like one of those kids that did shit. <laughs> I just kind of stayed in line and watched the other kids and laughed and played. Yeah. <laughs> you learned to laugh and play? To get along with each other? What a wonderful kind of day, man. All of the other children used to laugh that and call Arthur. hoorah names. Dude, no, all the other children still laugh and call hoorah That's names. That's like completely... <laughs> but they would say his real name, not hoorah. <laughs> Fucking hoorah. Yeah. yeah. Wink, wink. <laughs> See, I hate, I hate so like know. being bad with techie stuff. Because I always make this mistake of telling people I'm technically retarded, but I'm about to say technologically retarded. <laughs> I've made that mistake on one of a few occasions. <laughs> I'm technically retarded. Okay. So, uh, really? All right. Dude, as soon as you say that, they just like instantly change the so no, th- no, the thing is, no, the thing is, is like, someone, like, someone helps me with the computer Sorry. problem. And it's, they're like, what the fuck is wrong with you? And it's like, I'm technically retarded. And I'm like, oh, shit. And they're like, oh, then they start laughing. I'm tweeting that right now. <laughs> 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 I 
and then have to like. <laughs> well, I'd love to help you with your computer problem, man, but I'm technically retarded. But the thing is, it's like technology, so you think tech. Okay. Tech. No, no one thinks that. But you have to be. You have to finish that. You have to finish with. with I'm technologically and retarded. And the tweet is out. <laughs> Jahan Redcorn. <laughs> God damn it! I just watched that. Thank you. <laughs> Dale's grandmother isn't right. even Jamaican, is she? God. <laughs> oh god. Video. It is a good show. Oh god, that's such a good show. <sighs> it's still my. Is is it? Is everyone's favorite episode of King of the Hill? Is it? Uh, that's my that first episode. Funny. Yes, it, it, I think it is. Uh, um, it's. That's a funny episode. Of no, I'm favorite. I'm gonna fucking say the Jahan Redcorn episode is my favorite just because of that know. moment. Peggy Hill. That's a good one. I like the. I, like I, a I lot actually of the don't episodes like the Cotton episodes of Cotton just because he's so fucking annoying. Yeah, to me. I don't like I don't like Cotton really. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just I, like, dude, I, be I, nice here. No, I'm not. Damn it. He's not getting. I'm not understanding that's, an that's old racist fuck. I. <laughs> I fucking love the one where he's talking about, um, he's telling Bobby about his experience at Fort Burke, and he was like, back in oh, the yeah. day, the okay, principal I did was like the meanest cotton, some bitch no, that walked no, on one leg. Was good. <laughs> I like, yeah. I like Cotton, He'd lean except, up on I like the Cotton table and as a kick character, it. except for when he's Just talking to, uh, Hank. Other, and when he's talking to anyone oh, yeah. else, I'm like, oh, dude, I like, I like this guy. When he's talking to Hank, I'm like, oh. Like when, like when him and Peggy go at it. Yeah, he's such a, yeah, when he's talking to Hank, it's kind of. Something mean to him. I know, Hank's cool. He was a girl for one episode, he but Hank's cool. He doesn't want his son to be a sissy. <laughs> Hank's out with all my propans, my, all my propane. Propane, <laughs> no, or your propans. <laughs> propane and propane accessories. I tell you what. <laughs> Dang it! Is anyone else could, like, af- like uh, afraid okay. of Bobby because he's so fucking weird? Bob- Bobby is weird because he is perfect like at whatever he wants to be good at, like. I, it, whenever he uh, oh, yeah. takes like up anything the, new, he's like instantly good at it. Oh god, like, that episode was so fucking creepy. Yeah, I, I, it like, was. I'll agree. <laughs> it was creepy to me because oh, Hank know. like completely stopped <laughs> noticing his son and was just like, "Well, hey there, Chip." <laughs> How are the and then Rangers? Bobby tried to so like, have a son being like sports. <laughs> <laughs> like sports, I've always give wanted. Shit that he's made out of wood. <laughs> to be fair, I think he probably would have liked him more if he's made out of wood anyway. <laughs> it is a good show. Oh god, that's such a good show, though. I I think probably my favorite episode is either the one where Peggy fell out of the plane. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anything that happens to like, like anything Peggy. bad that happens to Peggy, I'm instantly or, a supporter of. I instantly don't. Care. I, I feel bad because like a lot of episodes they right. try and make her just seem totally insecure, and like right. bad shit. Oh, happens. I know I'm my like, favorite she episode. She deserves it. She's a bitch. Peggy's birthday <laughs> where they're on the train. What? That's my fucking favorite episode. I like the episode where yeah. she she has the that lawn was, gnome and Hank hates it. That was it. pretty funny. <laughs> that... Yeah. No, that yeah. has like oh, the. God. You know how he does his like blah scream. That is the most like, horrified blah he does throughout the entire like even the one where Bobby kicked him in the nuts, he was not as bad <laughs> as when he saw that lawn no. He saw the lawn he's just like whoa ha, ha. <laughs> <It's> fucking... <sighs> Oh god. No, I, I like the episode where Cotton dies just because he I like the episode where Cotton dies because Cotton finally like fucking times. dies. <laughs> Uh, it was it was a big cotton episode. That's why I loved it. Cause I think like it started with him saying something awesome, like "We'll see who can't drive his grandson to a Japanese restaurant without his license <laughs> or a driver's license and using a broom like, to press like the, the pedals." Best mine. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yep. Yeah, no. And then he just died to spite Peggy. Oh, I know. That was one, I, of the, one other thing. I, I will agree. That's why I liked Peggy. cotton. Is because he hated Peggy. I don't really hate Peggy. <laughs> I don't, I don't oh, yeah, like, never get, um, he never did call Bobby's, it Peggy. Uh, what, is it her cousin? His cousin? Luann. I don't like Luann. Oh. Uh, 
Luann? That episode where they that episode where she moved yeah, on her own. Okay. That was like ugh, the worst. Episode I don't necessarily. Ever. Um, she wasn't the best. I liked like I liked some of the moments she had because she was just so fucking dumb. I liked her earlier. Like yeah. so, so mo- like some yeah. of those moments were good, but a lot of them were just. <sighs> when she was early on in the series, it was really funny because of how stupid she was. But then it just became like. And yeah. The character just became annoying. Yeah. Yeah. It. I didn't really like the story arc they tried. I don't to do, remember. Like, I don't remember. Like she's like, know. oh yeah, I'm in love with Buckley, better. and then he died, and then and then I'm gonna go to college, and I'm gonna drop out, and, and I'm died, gonna go yeah. back as a hairdresser. Now I'm. Now I'm done being a hairdresser. Now exactly. I'm gonna move out like, with you, no job. Now I'm gonna get a job as a hairdresser, even though I didn't get certified. Now I'm not a hairdresser, and now I'm back at home with wife and baby. Now I'm gonna do puppets for the church. Yeah. Now I'm gonna. Yeah, like, she's, now I'm gonna she's give back, back to the community. Wife. Now I need Hank to give back to the community. Now I don't like giving back to the community because it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> you pretty much just described every plot she ever had. <laughs> Oh, poor Bill. Oh, poor Bill. I love Bill, though. Boomhauer's awesome. Dude, you can't... Character, too. And Boomhauer. Bill you gets attacked not, by like, so you many birds. You can't not love Bill, and you can't not love Boomhauer. You can't not love anyone. I love, I love Dale. Like, any... Dale's awesome. Dale's awesome. Dale's awesome. You... Dale's Boom... so great. Like, Boom... Dale, Dale's fucking Boomhauer's awesome, Boomhauer's fucking great, though. Boomhauer's like a Where guy you? amongst men. I love when Dale has his episodes where he's like, actually teaches yeah. you something, because it's like, oh, wow, Dale just taught me something. I know. <laughs> Episode where he's like going like at yeah, after the rat in the vents because he has to do his job. Like, oh my <laughs> god, <laughs> dude's a pro. He is a pro. God, I, I do. They only had like two or three right. episodes that were like Boomhauer centric episodes, you know. But those, those episodes, episodes are, are fucking good. phenomenal. Like. Yeah, the, I know they had the one where. Uh, oh yeah, and then he, she was he, getting married to his brother. Play, uh, played by Brad Pitt, by the way. His brother, yeah. Yeah, I know. They do. I, I like, think my God, favorite celebrity so voice was Johnny Depp because he, when he was the yoga guy, <laughs> the yoga instructor, that guy was so fucking great. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, we're getting way too far into this, aren't we? Oh god. I bet, I bet you tell your lungs to breathe every morning. <laughs> oh god, do. dude, Johnny Depp's fucking amazing. I was like, I know a lot of I girls love Johnny Depp, but I fucking love. No, I love <laughs> Johnny Depp, but I'm not a girl. I want to fuck Depp. <laughs> I don't want to fuck. Jeez. Yeah. But that that list Johnny is Depp. saved. All right, uh, for, like, podcast Jeremy Renner, and that's it. So who are we gonna hook you up to a lie detector? Um, no, that's cool. I got a pin in the bottom of my shoe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh god all right we've been going on for a while haven't we uh, all right yeah we should probably call it Go um ha- uh merry christmas everyone happy kwanzaa all right. fuck you hanukkah unless you're not over yet unless you're not over yet <laughs> <laughs> official ending for that is merry christmas happy kwanzaa and fuck you hanukkah well done <laughs>